Tim, are you an owner of Apple? Are you a longtime holder of Apple? What's your take on Apple? Well, certainly we've been a long-term holder of Apple. We continue to be a holder of Apple and would buy a position for new money as it came in the door. Um, the stock had such a wonderful run last year. It's been relatively flat since September. So you have a stock that's been consolidating for a while. And then we'll see if these new products begin to push a little bit more growth. The story, you know, to their credit in some ways and maybe to their detriment has still been the iPhone and the success of the iPhone 12. But with the TV, with the air tags, with more and more wearable devices. Oh. Um, they're really going after the services. Um, the iPad was probably the star of the show. And think about yeah. the Zoom world or the Skype world we're living in. It's the front-facing camera that matters now more than the pictures you're taking. Uh, very well said, Sarah. I think Tim nailed it. I mean, you, you got to have that monthly revenue, whether it's podcasts, Apple TV, iCloud, Apple Music. Pretty soon you look at your monthly credit card report and go, I'm dropping 45 bucks a month to Apple. But it, I will say this, Sarah, and I love Apple, and I love what Tim Cook has done. I've been at many of these events, so I say this with love and affection. It feels like these Apple events, I understand there's a global pandemic, you might have heard about that, but it's like, now we're going to unveil gravy for the potatoes. It's like, maybe they should hold them until there's something big. Yeah, I mean, I think that they keep momentum, not just for investors, but also for consumers, which is helpful. It also gives me a snapshot into what they're working on. So I appreciate them from that lens. But I agree, the services business is going to become crucial as hardware sales continue to slow down. What I'm looking at, though, Brian, is they continue to take this 30% cut from people that make transactions through their app store. It's the same thing they've always done. They're going to continue to apply it to new uh, products in the software business. They said yesterday that podcast creators, they're going to have a 30% of their revenue be taken by Apple. Now, the reason that matters is because Apple is undergoing so much antitrust scrutiny. I'm in Washington right now, so I hear about it all the time. And it's about this 30% cut. It's about dominance through their app store and through their software services. So what I'm looking at is as they continue to venture into this space, how does that reckon with some of the regulatory scrutiny that they're facing? And it's only going to increase as they focus on services. That's not something that Apple's really had to worry about for a long time up until now. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.